Hey guys, Nick here, and today I'm going to be going over how to live stream with XSplit. Now, XSplit's a pretty great program. It allows you to live stream pretty much anything from uh, PC gameplay, Xbox gameplay, PlayStation gameplay, any type of game or anything that you can plug in. You can stream your desktop. You can stream, like, I don't know, a word processor if you wanted to. It's a really great program, really easy to use, and uh, it's probably the best live streaming program out there at least at least in terms of ease of use now just a quick disclaimer whenever I do a video about streaming or recording or whatever people always ask me this if you're going to stream Xbox or PlayStation or any type of console gameplay you do need a capture card a PVR something that you can connect to your computer and yeah you can't just plug a, you can't plug an HDMI cable from your Xbox into the HDMI out on your graphics card and expect it to somehow allow you to record there's no magic here, you need a capture card to record any type of console gameplay. So let's get started now. First off, you want to go to xsplit.com and you have to register for an account. Registering for an account is free, but uh, there is a paid version and a free version of xsplit and I'll go over the differences in just a moment here. Uh, once you've registered, you can click uh, download xsplit now and it will, uh, will download xsplit for you. Um, so I'm going to go over here to the licenses page to just look at these uh, real quick. Uh, now there's a premium license and a personal license and it explains the differences down here. Uh, so the premium license is $60 for a year and the personal license is $40 for a year. You can buy, also buy a three month license or a three year license if you want to. It's three. It's $80 for a three year license of the personal version. So uh, yeah, you can buy it if you want. You don't have to, but uh, there are some pretty big differences between the, the two here. So now one thing to point out here is uh, the premium version allows commercial use. You're really not supposed to use the free or the personal version for commercial use. You're supposed to use the premium version if you're going to be using this for commercial purposes. And I believe commercial purposes also includes making money off your live stream. So if you become a partner on Twitch TV or YouTube and you're making money, then you, you do need to get the, uh, the premium version that allows for the commercial use. But uh, once again, it's whether or not <laughs> XSplit tries to sue you or whatever. Um, you can do that at your own risk. So now the free version isn't too bad, but it does have a few disadvantages. Um, first off, uh, the frames per second is capped. It says limited here. I believe it's limited at 25 FPS, which isn't too bad. That's bearable. Um, it says restricted resolution. I believe it goes only up to 720p, which still is, is pretty good for a live stream. Um, for maximum scenes, it's not really a big deal to me. Maybe to some people, I don't know. Um, this to me is what, what really makes the free version bad is that uh, the only audio codec it allows you to use is the Speaks audio codec, which is a really bad audio codec. It's like mono with a really low bit rate, and uh, it just sounds really bad if you use the free the free version of XSplit. It doesn't have a very good audio codec. So when you start XSplit, this is what you'll see, um, just kind of a blank window. First off, you're probably going to want to add some video sources. So uh, if you go down here to add, you want to click add camera. You can select from a list of devices. If you have a capture card, it will be listed here. Um, if you have an HD PVR, I'll go over that in a minute. But uh, see, it, it sees my Avermedia HD capture card. It sees my webcam here. So I'm going to go and uh, I'm not going to add the capture card because that's already in use. Um, I can add the webcam real quick. And uh, my webcam comes up here. You can resize it. So I usually like to have it in the top corner. If you right click, you can go to configure. You can change this. I hate autofocus because it randomly decides to go out of focus. Um, so yeah, you can move this around wherever you want. You can place it wherever you want to place it and uh, that sort of stuff. Um, next off, you can add, um, what do I have here? I can add my um, DX Tori video here and uh, I actually want it below. So if you go down here, you can just pull it underneath so that the webcam is above it. Now if I go to my Modern Warfare 3 here, which I conveniently have the sound disabled on. Um, I can now have that. This is this is PC right here. Um, see, I got my mouse, and uh, that's using DX Tori. DX Tori is great if you want to uh, you want to do that. Real quick, I'll just show you for anyone who wants to know about PC. Um, I've got my pick video here, but you just pretty much select Direct Show Output, uh, and then it's one of these here. Uh, video settings. And then output one. I have it set to 720p and 30 FPS. So that's pretty much all you have to do to stream uh, to stream PC gameplay. Xbox 
PS3 a bit more difficult, especially if you have uh, if you have an HD PBR. So once you've got your video all set up, um, you want to go on to audio. So it, by default, XSplit will pick up any sound that is being played through your computer. So if you're playing on PC and uh, sound is already being played through your, your speakers or whatever, uh, XSplit will pick it up. This is the volume control for that. You can just easily adjust the volume source there. You can mute it if you want. It will automatically pick anything up. If your capture card already plays sound through your PC, then it will automatically be picked up and uh, will be streamed in your stream. Now to uh, to get sound to play through your computer from your capture card, if you don't already have this set up, um, just go to control panel, hardware and sound, or type in sound or whatever, uh, click on sound. This will open here and uh, you'll see under recording, it lists my capture card. It's disabled. If I enable it right now, my screen or my uh, my computer will probably blue screen because the capture card is already in use to record this right now. Uh, so I won't do that. But I would click enable, and then I would go to properties, and then uh, you just click listen to this device, and it will play through your speakers or whatever, and your computer or uh, XSplit will pick that up when you go to live stream. If you go to tools, general settings, um, right here under the general tab. For a microphone, you can select your microphone, so I can select whatever microphone I have. I have my blue snowball selected, but uh, I'm not going to use that right now because it's already in use. might get angry at me. That's what I'm using to record this. You've got a couple more options here. You can disable arrow if you want. Um, it's supposed to make performance better. Last time I tried it, it didn't, so it's up to you. If you're having performance issues, you could try that. Um, game source only works on one of the paid versions, so... Uh, I don't recommend using it. It honestly makes a lot of lag. This is for streaming PC. Um, you can enable Skype or do whatever um, there. Another thing you can do is if you go here to view um, resolution, you probably want to set it to 720p. Um, frame rate, you can go here. You can set it to 25 if you have the free version or whatever you want. If you have the paid version, I usually have it at 30. Um, you can set transitions or whatever. That's pretty much all you need there. Uh, now if we go back under general settings, if you go to channels, uh, add, you can pretty much add whatever you want. If you have a custom RTMP that's like a stream key or whatever, uh, that's if you're using like YouTube or whatever, um, you can stream there. Uh, if you have Justin slash Twitch TV, then you can just add that, enter your username and password, and it will, uh, will allow you to stream there. Now if you click on the channel and go to edit, um, it will take a long time to load, and then um, has your username and password, or you can enter in your stream key, which you can find on the site. But uh, username and password's probably easiest. And then, uh, yeah. So you want to select your server here. So um, when you go down here, it will tell you the ping to the server. Um, you can start with default, and if default doesn't work well, you can just probably go with the one with the lowest average ping. So probably around like 20, 25 if you have decent internet, hopefully. Um, and uh, we'll get back to that in a minute. Uh, I usually have it under very fast, which is the default. It explains it here. Pretty much says um, don't use these unless you have like a monster CPU. So unless you have like a 3960X or whatever, like a I don't know, really expensive CPU, don't be using anything other than uh, than super fast or very fast. Um, so I usually leave it at, at the default quality. I leave it at nine. I'm not really sure how that affects anything. Um, the bitrate now is an interesting thing. So to determine what bitrate you should use, first off you want to go to speedtest.net. When you get there you want to click begin test and it will begin to test how fast your, your download and upload speed is. So right here it says my upload speed is 1.99 megabits per second. Um, this is probably the minimum to live stream sufficiently. Um, a lower bitrate means worse quality and if you use all of your bandwidth, all of your upload speed to stream, you'll lag a lot if you're playing any games online or doing anything online. So yeah, pretty much a higher bitrate means higher quality video, so you want to set it as high as you can uh, without making yourself lag too much. So if, say, your upload speed is 5 megabits per second, I would set this to about 2,000, which is 2 megabits per second. Um, that's probably, that's a really high high quality stream. So you want to set this to 2000, and I, I usually set the buffer a little bit higher, so if it was 2000, I might set the buffer to like 2200 or whatever. Um, then once you've picked out your, your video bitrate, you want to go to your audio bitrate. So if you have the paid version, um, you don't have to use Speaks. Speaks only gives you this like mono, and the highest it will go is 42,000 
uh, bits per second which is really bad quality but if you have the paid version you can go to this AAC thing and then I usually have it at 16-bit uh, stereo and then I set it higher is better but you know 80 96 thousand is usually pretty good for for audio and then once you have that set um, you want to go back up here you want to click test bandwidth and it will pretty much tell you if uh, if you can upload to this server fast enough to stream so it's not just about having a good upload speed if you're not close to any servers you're not going to be able to stream properly so you want to go here and you want to wait for it and it will pretty much tell you if uh, if you can upload to that server fast enough for you to sufficiently stream and if that server doesn't work there's lots of other servers so you can just try any of their any of their other servers until you find one where it gives you a, a green light so it it's it needs to have right now uh, 1096 kilobits per second and you can see it's getting you know over that most of the time so it won't lag it will stream properly and uh, it should give me like a green light up here saying that I have sufficient bandwidth to stream at this bit rate so you'll see I get a green light and it says your bandwidth is sufficient if you can't get sufficient bandwidth on any server then you're gonna have to lower your bit rate lower bit rate means uh, means worse quality so now the only thing left to cover is how to stream with an HD PVR. So if you have like the Hopog HD PVR, it has a program called, I believe it's Total Media Extreme or something, where you can see a preview on your computer. So uh, what you're going to need to do is you're going to have to go to Add here. Um, you want to add screen region and pretty much you want to select the region on your screen that you want to add. So say I wanted to add this XSplit window to my screen region. I can now stream my XSplit window, which creates this cool infinite loop here um, so you can pretty much do that and that's how you stream your total media extreme uh, window within HD PVR and then uh, I can just remove that source there and then after that all you pretty much want to do is you want to go to broadcast select whichever channel you want to broadcast to and it will start broadcasting so you'll be live streaming so that's all if you have any questions uh, please post a comment and I'll answer them to the best of my abilities um, but please watch the entire video before you ask a question a lot of people watch like a minute and then they have a question and they don't wait till the end so watch the whole video and then uh, then ask a question if you enjoyed the video please click like subscribe if you want to see some more videos from me and uh, thanks for watching guys I'll see you later